Hi, I'm Jimmy Cottle. Uh, I play uh, a lot of softball with the NAS and uh, a lot of the sports ministry going on, and it's definitely helped keep me on track and literally saved my life in a time whenever I needed it the most. I met my wife, Bethany Cottle. Uh, it was Bethany Woolham. We were at Rio Grande when we were engaged shortly after Christmas of 2001. Um, she was diagnosed with an abdominal neuroendocrine cancer. Whenever you're engaged and you're trying to plan the rest of your life, and then all of a sudden they said, yeah, you, you can plan the rest of your life, but keep in mind it's only probably two years that you've got. That's not any word that you ever want to hear. Whenever the surgeon came out, he said, there was no pancreatic involvement. He said, I don't know how to explain it. We basically told him, you don't have to explain it. We understand because it's a God thing. So we started planning the rest of our life. We got married in August after that. And uh, what turned out to be two to five years, come around 2014, we were able to have a kid. He had no birth effects, no anything from the cancer treatments, no ill effects for anything. He was good. So in October of 2014, she went in for a surgery whenever Waylon was about seven weeks old. Um, and completely, the, the tumor had completely wrapped around her spine. Um, the only thing keeping her vertebrae from severing her spine was the tumor protected. 18 hours after her last surgery, she told the physical therapist that she wanted to walk out of the room and she stood up and did it. And so for the third time now, the first time and the first surgery in 2002 and then with Waylon's birth and then this, we've got a medical miracle that she's going through. So I can feel God's presence all the time. And then the spring came along and uh, I started to play softball. You start to build a relationship with the guys that are on your team. Uh, you start to build a relationship with other men, other, we played on the co-ed teams, other ladies in the church, and you start to know them not only as teammates, but as friends. Late spring 2018, we found out that best cancer had really taken a bad turn. Waylon was playing t-ball. Um, she was incredibly sick, but every single time we came out on a Monday night, she'd hop out of the car, muster up every bit of energy she could to walk out there and watch her kid play t-ball. We would move our game from the opposite end of the field over to the short end of the field just because we knew that Beth probably couldn't walk that distance um, just to see her son play because she knew she wasn't gonna, she knew deep down inside she probably wasn't gonna be around much longer to, to be able to watch. July 9th or 10th of 2018 we finally decided that we were going to have to call hospice. That was the hardest call you ever had to make. Uh, God had given me 16 years instead of two, but I was angry is the, the light way to put it. Um, I was really angry at that point that I couldn't have more. And the next call that I made was to Pastor John to let him know that uh, we were going to call hospice. And about an hour later, there was a knock on the hospital room door and he was the first person in the room. Um, I opened up the door and before I could say hi, he had his arms around me giving me a hug. The day that she passed, um, the praise team from the NAS came over and gathered her on her bed and, and sang the songs that she would normally sing for the praise and worship team. And I was able to record them and I still have those recordings on my phone. I had two options. I could either be really angry with God, um, be really angry that I couldn't have my wife anymore. Uh, be really angry that Waylon couldn't have his mom. Instead, because of the relationships that I made with um, the NAS Sports Ministry, um, the relationships that I made with the Men of NAS Ministry, um, the praise and worship team, and the connections that I had at the church, I decided to turn inward um, and turn, turn back to God and just let him handle it. He gave me and Beth 16 and a half years whenever we were supposed to only get two. So I needed to give him whatever the rest of my life was. Somebody decided to invite me to church and it just happened to be the NAS. 
and they got me connected in a way that I was naturally ready to be in with the sports ministry and with the music ministry. I miss her every day. And I'm incredibly sorry that she passed. But it was through God's love in her passing, giving me a story to be able to tell, I'm able to share that. And I'm able to share it because the connections that we made with the sports ministry kept me from turning my back on God whenever I needed the most.